What's up guys, in this video, I want to talk to you guys about everything that I've learned during my internship. The mindset that I have adopted, that I was forced to adapt rather, and that has kept me going after. Now it's morning of internship. Starting with the number one thing, and that is effort is the currency of respect. When you put in effort, you'll be respected. In internship, it's just work. Now we, as interns, everyone, we are a cog in the system, and we have to do our part for the whole system to work. And I personally think that everyone works, right? Everyone does their job. When actually this statement actually holds value is when you think about the opposite. What happens when you don't put in the effort? When you don't put in the effort, the disrespect or, or the losing of respect is almost instantaneous. I have had instances where I see someone not pulling their weight, not doing what they're supposed to do, like the bare minimum. And you know, instantly you just, you just lose respect for that person. So that is how I've realized that, you know, effort is the currency of respect and effort is equal to respect. There is actually a fun story that I want to share with you regarding effort. And that is during my casualty posting. It was day posting and this case came, right? An ENT case came. So when an ENT case comes, we as casual agents, we just have to call the ENTHS and they'll just take care of the ENT part. The ENT PG will come, the ENT doctor will come, you know, it's, it's, it's all there. So what happened was I called the ENT PG and after some time he came and then I told the sister, look sister, uh, ENT PG has come, you know, let just give him the case. I have taken the vitals and handed over everything to the ENT PG, uh, ENTHS, so just take it from there. And then the sister was like, no, 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 that's not, that is not the ENT PG. Uh, you should not address him like that. He is the monster. I was like, what? Uh, uh, I was confused. Why is this person called the monster? So it's actually a reference to the, the, to the film, KGF, where you know, they say that he's a monster and he came all alone. So the backstory is that when this guy was having casualty posting, there were only three H's. So two people in the morning and one, one, one guy in the night. So this guy was a night H. So basically, this one house agent took care of the casualty night. You know, this single, <laughs> single guy <laughs> took care of the casualty night. So he came all alone. So that's why the whole reference to the monster. And it's crazy, man. All these people, when they see him, they're like, oh, the monster. When you put in the effort, it gets noticed, right? It's, it's this level of respect that you'll get automatically. Of course, it's hard. Effort is called respect. Now coming to the second point, and that is enthusiasm, right? How do you find enthusiasm in, in the work, right? At the end of the day, the work needs to get done. And it's easy to get overwhelmed and think to yourself, you know, I have to do this, I have to do this, I have to do this. It almost feels like we are just forcing ourselves to work, which we are, quite frankly. But the thing is, when you switch that paradigm, when you, when you see that as an opportunity, when you, when you say, I get to do this, I get to uh, <laughs> type discharge some ways, I get to type something, I get to write, I get to, you know, help, patient out. You have this feeling of gratitude that is embedded when you think, I get to do this. So there are many a times where I have thought to myself, oh God, you know, this is so mundane. I tell myself, I get to do this instead of I have to do this. And that's like being a game changer. And how I came about this mindset is when I was about to finish a certain posting and then I thought to myself, okay, that's it. <laughs> I don't have to ever do this or I don't have to step foot in this department ever again. Right? Because this is it. After, after this, I'm done. And when you think like that, it kind of gives value to what you're doing. It's the last time you're ever going to be in this department. And that just gives it a lot of meaning, a lot of value. Because scarcity is value. So again, I just took that concept. I just turned it upside down. And I was like, oh, I get to do this for the one last time. I get to do this. I get to do this. So that is how I try to find meaning in, in the work that I do. And the next point that I would like to talk about is about having confidence. So when I initially came into internship, you know, I was just a student, right? And after that, you have this transition to a doctor, to a person who works in the hospital, right? You're a, you're a part of the team. One of the junior doctors told me that you should, know, you should, you should believe that you're a doctor, right? You have the authority of a doctor. You have the knowledge on why exactly you know, a certain decision was made in terms of patient care. So you can advise the patient, you can advise the nurses about what exactly is happening. So that one point she said that you are a doctor, you know, gave me the confidence to approach each and every situation in the, in the clinics or in the hospital with that confidence. So it kind of just uplifted me and uh, gave me the confidence. Now the last point that I want to share with you in regards to the hospital setting uh, or in regards to work is about uh, being lazy. You know, there are moments 
but I've let things slip by because I thought that it was not that important. And part of the reason that I just let things slip by is because I was lazy and I was kind of over smart. Right? I was like, you know, I can't be bothered. And funny enough, all these little things that I just took for granted, it's like a boomerang. Just, uh, <laughs> it just comes and hits you back. For me, this happened mostly in discussion ways. I'm like, this is not important. Why should I add this? You know, is it like a big thing? Uh, I, I, didn't, I might have not paid attention to something. And it is usually that exact point that I've missed <laughs> that they'll be like, why didn't you write this? Why, why haven't you? Please add this. And then I have to go and take a hold another paper. I have to print another paper. Ah, it's, a <laughs> it's a hassle. So me trying to save a couple of seconds here and there <laughs> ultimately uh, you know, resulted in me wasting a couple of minutes. Like not minutes, not a couple of minutes, a lot of half an hour or something. What exactly I'm trying to say is that you, know, you have to be professional. Right, you know, pucka <laughs> is what I'm, what I'm trying to say. Now that I've talked about the work side of things, uh, let's talk about the after hours. You know what happens after work. So this is my personal opinion. I think we have to, we have to have fun. Right? Uh, it's not just a, a good to have. It's a must to have. It is an absolute necessity. In the earlier months of internship, I didn't have quite a routine set. I was just going to work, coming back home, and just resting. I didn't exactly uh, do anything that was relatively fun, right? I didn't do anything that, that, that I found passionate. And it resulted in me being trained. I wasn't really happy how things actually turned out because life was just, you know, encapsulated into work. It's just work, 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 work. No, all work and no play makes a uh, uh, size sad. I will tell you what worked for me. Okay, number one, it was going to the gym. Secondly. I started learning martial arts. You know, a friend of mine, he was like, let's go learn boxing. Uh, and then I also wanted to learn uh, calorie martial arts, right? And I just started doing both. I started doing calorie and I started doing boxing. And that's when I realized, oh, there's a life. <laughs> there's a life outside of everything. There's a life outside of all this. And that life uh, just seemed a lot more fun. You know, it seemed like a life that's actually worth living. You know, the everyday process of, of living that life was just beautiful and it was something I looked forward to like every day uh, I looked forward to you know going to the boxing I've seen a lot of my batchmates uh, going to the films right that's their fun um, they go out every day they make sure to go out and have food from outside you know somewhere somewhere far you know a bike ride you know it's, it's just trying to get your mind away from work and I feel that you know mentally that has a has a therapeutic value it's to completely detach yourself from work um, has a lot of power. Now coming to studies. Now this is a this is an interesting one, a controversial one. I'll tell you what I did, and that I would suggest. Uh, so I didn't exactly take time of out of my life to actually study. What I did was I selectively learned. Let's say a dengue case comes. I was like, okay, I'll study <laughs> only about dengue. <laughs> That's it. I'll just learn about dengue. What are the warning signs? You know, what are the problems in severe dengue cases, what are things I have to look out for, bleeding manifestation, yada, yada, yada. I'll just learn whatever the case comes, you know, <laughs> just narrow. <laughs> That's all I did. I didn't go learn everything about infectious diseases. Not an inch more did I learn. Every case you get, if you can just look upon it, just understand what exactly it is. You know, I think that is the bare minimum that you have to do. Uh, do I wish I studied more during internship? Absolutely not. Uh, am I grateful that I've done things that have made me happy on a daily basis absolutely yes so that has been my point of view and that's how i take things also on the other side of things i've seen the 2016 batch and the results have come and some people are not happy with the rank they have gotten so they might have to repeat and you know <laughs> it's it's tough right I, I didn't really think about uh, tomorrow i just thought about today what is going to make me happy today so that was my point of view and last but not least I think internship as a, as a unique experience uh, you know you get to go and see and experience each and every department if I was this person how will my life look if I was in OBG how will I how will my life look if I was in dermat if I was in radio if I was in medicine how is the PG life going to be uh, so you'll get a deep understanding uh, uh, into these topics and and for me internship was actually observing and uh, talking to these people. I just have these conversations with them. I just ask, how's life? How does it feel to have finally made it? You know, orthopedics, you know, how, how does it feel to have 
finally become an orthopedic doctor sir or uh, a nephrologist i asked her how does it feel to have finally made it in this you know in this uh, medical profession those are the kind of conversations that i've had for the most part and those are the ones that have brought me a lot of insight to what exactly i want going future so that is it that is all my learnings um, in regards to internship right it was a fun ride i mean it's still going uh, i still have one month more than a month left um, yeah and then i'll be done so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, let me know what did you uh, take away from this video and also what is what is your biggest learning uh, during internship i think that would be really fun to know with that said i'll see you in the next one what how did i how did i close god peace yeah yeah okay with that said i'll see you in the next one peace